Hey everyone. So my name is Claudia. I'm a Mexican software engineer currently working for NPM. So um, a little bit of context. I'm actually from this city called Monterrey, Mexico. And um, in case you don't know where that is, that's actually just in the north of Mexico, very near the States. Um, so what was happening in my life in 2014? So in 2014, I was getting my degree in computer science. Um, and being out of school, um, I asked myself, how can I continue learning? So that's when I actually came across conference talks online. So this really spiked my interest in tech meetups in my local area. The thing is that I realized there were not local meetups happening at all. Actually, there was only one. So in 2015, um, I gave my first talk ever in this very, very small meetup in Monterrey called JavaScript Monterrey. And as you might notice, it, it was small. It was normally 10 to 15 people. Um, this made me realize something very important. I was missing out a lot of things. Um, but why? Um, and I really, really want to highlight three reasons um, why I believe um, it was very inconvenient for me to stay in this city, in Monterrey. So the first reason is this one, low community involvement. So this is a graph of all the conferences that are more or less happening in 2019 and 2020, uh, and the graph speaks by itself. There are way more conferences happening in Europe and in the US than the rest of the world. This is JS, uh, JS JavaScript conferences happening. So the second reason is non-competitive salaries in Latin America. So the average monthly salary in Mexico is $745. This is what I, what I was actually making in my first job. And um, this is a very eye-opener tweet by Juan Pablo Britiga. He's one of the leaders of the Colombian community. And he says, a $100 ticket, $100 ticket is 10% of a Colombian developer's monthly income, sometimes even more. Sponsors really help in developing nations' events. So in that fashion, a $100 ticket is 13% of Mexican developers' monthly income. So I already mentioned that there are not a lot of things happening in Latin America. So on top of that, if you want to actually go to a conference, you have to pay accommodation, you have to pay the ticket, and you have to pay the flights. So, you know, we don't have a lot of options. And the third one is expensive infrastructure in Latin America. So long story short, basically what this means is that we're paying more for slower services. So now that we have these three reasons, in 2015 I decided to move from Mexico. And uh, in 2015 I moved to Paris. And the incredible thing that happened once I moved to Europe is diversity scholarships. So in 2015, I got a scholarship for JSCOM Europe. And um, this is a quote that I really, really love from Yuna that says, scholarships aren't just about increasing diversity numbers or financial assistance. They can change an attending life. They do. They change mine. So in JSCOM Europe 2015, I met an amazing human being that really inspired me and really motivated me to pursue my public speaking dreams. Um, so this led to this. In 2016, I gave my first international talk at JSCOM Budapest. And shout out to the JSCOM organizers because they believe in me. I love them. So funny story as well. Um, the edition after the one in which I was uh, in for, with a scholarship, I came back as a speaker this time. So it was a mind-blowing experience to be sharing the same stage with the same person that the previous year actually inspired me to be in the stage in the first place. Amazing experience. Um, and the rest, the rest is history. After this opportunity that I got with JSConf Europe, I attended more meetups and stuff. But all of this wouldn't have been possible without the help of that community, without the meetups that I attended and the conferences that I've been to. So I, what I really, really just want to ask to you is to help create these communities. For people that aren't as lucky as I was to literally switch countries to sort of search for these opportunities. So what can we actually do? We cannot change internet bills, we cannot change salaries, but we can help organizing and funding meetups and conferences around the world. So please get involved, attend your local meetups, help the organizers, give back to the community. And this is just one of the examples. This is Lima.js. Uh, you can actually sponsor the meetup. Uh, Lima is in Peru, one of the South American meetups. 
and um, spread the word, help other communities be built. And um, with that being said, um, I want to make an announcement. Um, I want to announce a new member of the JSConf family, JSConf Mexico. Fourth and fifth of May, Cinco de Mayo, next year, Mexico City, you are all welcome to go. Please, I really, really want to see you all there. And with that being said, thank you very much. <laughs>